In this example, figure shows two spherical mirrors M1 and M2 on the same optical axis at a separation of 50 cm. And it is saying that a point object O is placed midway between the mirrors on optical axis. And we are going to find the location nature of its image after two successive reflection, first taken at M1, then at M2. Here in this situation we consider that first light rays from object are incident on mirror M1. Then in this situation we can consider first reflection as here we take u is equals to plus 25 centimeter and focal length we can take as plus 20 centimeter because here we are taking right side as plus x axis and left side as minus x axis and this is the pole P1. So in this situation using mirror formula you can directly find out the image produced by mirror M1 for the object which is UF by U minus F. That will be 25 into 20 divided by 25 minus 20 is 5 and on solving this will be 20 into 5 plus 100 centimeter. That means the image will be produced at a distance 100 centimeter from the pole 1. That means at a distance 50 centimeter there is the second mirror and 50 centimeter behind it. Now in this situation let us consider 50 centimeter behind it. The light rays will be reflected in such a manner that these are going to produce an image at a distance 50 centimeter behind the pole 2 of the second mirror. Now these uh, rays will be considered as uh, incident rays for the second mirror and this point which is at a distance 50 centimeter from pole P2 will be taken as a virtual object for mirror M2 where second reflection will take place. So here for second reflection we can consider u to be equals to plus 50 and the focal length of this mirror we can take as plus 30 centimeter. Now in this situation if we use the mirror formula then image position can be given as again uf by u minus f. On simplifying we'll get it as 50 multiplied by 30 divided by 20. That will be 150 by 2 plus 75 centimeter where the final image will be produced. That means the image will be produced at the right side of pole P2 at a distance 75 centimeter. So here we can see the light rays will be reflected again in diverging manner. These are the final reflected rays which appear to come from the point at a distance 75 centimeter from pole P2. For clarity, I am redrawing the ray diagram here because for understanding of such kind of problems, ray diagram is the most important analysis which you must understand. And without drawing ray diagram, several times it happened that the proper clarity is not there in image formation. Here, if this is the object and the separation between the two mirrors here is 50 centimeter. The first image which is produced by mirror M1 is at a distance 100 centimeter. So at a distance 50 centimeter from pole to this is the image I1 produced where the light rays are going. But actually light rays will not reach the point I1 because of reflection at second mirror. And after reflection the image produced will be at a distance 75 centimeter from mirror M2, that is further 25 centimeter from I1. Here I1 is acting as a virtual object for mirror M2. This is uh, the second and uh, the final image which we are required to find after two successive reflections at M1, first at M1, then at M2. So these light rays are reflected in such a manner that these appear to be coming from the point I2. So these are the final, the lower one is the final RR which we can write as RR final after two reflection and this is the final image which we are required to find. So this is the answer to this problem and here we can see final image is at 75 centimeter behind 
the second mirror and it is virtual. 